All right, so I've created a new folder called Wicked and I have created three new icons and it is just W to represent Wicked. And let's go back to our Visual Studio Code and I have opened the same folder in Visual Studio Code. And just like any other extension, we are going to start off with the manifest file. So I'm going to create a new file, manifest.json. And over here, we're going to start off with a pair of curly braces. First, we specify the manifest version. So manifest version is going to be two. And then we're going to specify a name for our extension. So the name is going to be wicket. And then we're going to have the, manif uh, the extension version. So this is going to be 1.0. Then we can have a description. So description. And we can just say search Wikipedia on the go. All right, then we can specify our icons to represent the extension. So we need to specify three icons. So 128 is going to be icon 128.png. And then 48 is going to be icon 48.png. And finally, for 16, it is going to be icon 16.png. All right, the next thing we need to specify is, now remember, this is neither a browser action nor a page action. So we are not going to specify either of them, but we do need a background event page. So background, this is going to be scripts. Now again, this is all something we have already learned. I'm just using it again. So even page.js and we need to set persistent to be false because this is an event page. And finally, we are going to request permissions for tabs and context menus. So context menus. All right, so that's our manifest. Let's create our event page in the next video.